Hey, what's going on guys? Jesse here. It's been a long time that I didn't release a tutorial for you guys, so my apologies. And anyways, today I'm gonna show you how to edit Cloudy Day Portrait in Lightroom CC. I wanted to give this image a very saturated and very strong look. And here is the result that I came up with. Before and after. Looks great, huh? So I wanna share the whole editing process for you guys. Hope you learned something out of it. And I have a very special announcement that I want to make. I never did this kind of thing. It's kind of crazy. And stick to the very end to see what I'm going to share. And okay, without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. First, I want to tell you the settings of this photo. It was taken during 6 to 7 p.m. on a cloudy day. So there was no bright sunlight and I used my brand new camera, Sony a7R 3 with 24 to 70 millimeter 2.8 G Master lens. And I set the ISO to 320, shutter speed to 220 and the aperture to 3.2. The lower the ISO, the better the image. So we're here in Lightroom and this part we're gonna do subtle change to the photo. First I set the final photo as a reference photo. Click the right mouse button and select set as reference photo. And now select the original raw file then click on reference view button or you can click shift R from the keyboard. Now we have the both photo displayed and when I edit photos I always start with the white balance settings. It is so much easier to work when your white balance is set to the right amount. Now go to the basic adjustment bar. Set the exposure to minus 0.20 and the highlights to 38. For the shadows lift it up to 24 and for the whites I like to bring it down just a little bit. Finally set the blacks to minus 10. Well about clarity don't overdo it too much otherwise you'll get real shitty looking image. And set the vibrance to 17. Now moving on to the tone curve section. Here I made two points and slightly lifted the top one and that's it. From the HSL tab, since this photo contains so much red, yellow and orange, I changed them a little bit. As I said in this part of the editing, we're gonna make a little change to the image. It's like it's more like color correction and lift the red saturation by 33 and orange by 21 and the yellow to 31. Lift the orange luminance to 31 and yellow to 18. And what luminance does is it lifts the brightness of that specific color. Here, moving on to the split toning and I lift the saturation to 10 and the hue to 141. Now the final adjustment will be color calibration and here set the red saturation to 24 or so. Here you can see the original unedited photo. And here is the result. You can click Ctrl Z to undo your command. And we're getting close to the final result. Let's export it as JPEG and move on to the next part of this video. So I imported our working file and the final photo to use as a reference once again. Let's hide this since we're not gonna use it. Okay, in this part, we're gonna make some major difference to the photo. And again, let's start with setting the white balance.
from the basic adjustment tab we're gonna give this photo's overall feeling and lift the exposure just a little bit and this time lift the contrast to 20 because I give this image very strong look as I said earlier in the video and set the highlights to minus 40 and lift the shadows to 35 as you can see the shadows are not too bright we're gonna change that by lowering the blacks and finally set the whites to minus 60 it looks like the colors are too vibrant let's change it by decreasing the saturation to minus 25 Again, create two points on the curve, lift the lower point just a little bit to give that faded effect and bring down the top point, it will affect the sky and rest of the white colors. From the HSL tab, start with changing the red saturation. I really want to bring out the red color and set the orange to minus 2 and the yellow to 18. To add some green to the highlights, you go to the split toning section and start adjusting. Here you can see the before photo by pressing Y from the keyboard and if you press Y one more time you can see the working file alone and if you press F you can see it on full screen. It is really useful to see what you're doing. Okay, we're getting really close to the final result. If we zoom on the model's face then you can notice that it is out of focus so let's fix that by changing the sharpness. Set the amount to 68 and the masking to 26. If you press control button, you can see where the sharpness is applying. Again, move to the camera calibration section and change the green saturation to 50. I noticed that the model itself is a bit dark and not stand out from the distractions. So I decided to brighten the model. To do that, select the radial filter tool and draw an ellipse around the model. First click invert to apply the change inside the ellipse and set the exposure to 0.30 and the highlights to 9 or so. And now we're done. Here is the before and after. And when I finished I decided to retouch the face a little bit and here is the result. If you're interested in how to retouch a model's face in Photoshop then let me know in the comment section. And now, as I said earlier about the special announcement, I brought down all of my preset packs to $1.99 for 24 hours. And I can't believe I'm doing this. I may never do this kind of thing again. So hurry up and use this chance. Be a good guy, spread the word. And I appreciate the support. Links are down below if you want to pick those up. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you get something out of this tutorial. Tell me what do you want to see next? Photo manipulation, photo editing, photo retouch, anything. Leave that all in a comment. I will read all the comments. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you next time.